You can do a lecture using this one. Let's see. Uh, let's click on one. So pick this one. When you pick this, when you pick a template in Adobe Spark, the system will automatically adjust all your text and you don't have to worry about formatting like PowerPoint. Okay? That is the major advantage of the Spark because you save all that time which is used for adjusting, adjusting and for reformatting. Okay, wait for a while. It takes some time because of, it's based on uh, your speed of internet. Usually in, in, in UMS also it's quite slow. <laughs> this is the normal option, normal thing what happens. Okay, okay. Skip, 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 skip this. One. This is not required. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, okay. Now, for example, you are describing a historical narrative. You can insert the picture directly by clicking on photo. You click on photo zoom. Okay. Okay. So you have many options available here. So usually you have find free photos. Click on find free photo. You can search for a free photo. Just search for something of. Laban or some butterfly, just see, look for butterfly. Okay, click. Click on any picture, on any image of butterfly, insert. Okay, so you can insert the image directly into the system without bothering about resizing, reformatting. Everything is done for you. You can add your voice over this. You can add a narrative. For example, Zul, you can record your voice on this. You click on the microphone button and then you can speak. You can speak something. Just say. So the voice actually recorded over each slide. So you can record your lecture narrative. And the good thing about the Adobe Spark, at the end of the day, normally when we do PowerPoint, we have to worry about the time. This one at the end, it will package and make one MP4 file. So it's a video file as it is. You don't have to worry about, like PowerPoint earlier, we have to, oh, we have to keep 10 minutes and if we, increase the duration of the slide, our voice gets cut. So with this one, it's not that way, it automatically records. Okay, add new slides, there we are. Okay, add to this a vi uh, video. Okay. You go to some, just go to some video. You have any video, download it, no. Small video. Just cancel. You can add a video, but you need to record the video. Okay, you can add my video, which is there of me talking there in the in the where is it in the file? The one which is me talking, the video of the which you download just now in the I create in the morning. <laughs> Find some small video and edit there. Recording number thirty-five, I think. Thirty-five, thirty-eight. You can add, it's too big, right? Okay, so don't add, don't add, don't add. It'll become too long. You can add all the 16 minutes. Okay, that one you add. Just add, just add. 10 minutes should be okay. Okay, the video goes inside that, okay? So you can adjust how much you want to use. Okay, so suppose you make a video file, you have to record it prior, like what we have done, and you can add it in. But you can select how much you want to use of the whole video. Suppose you want to only use part, you can use part of it. Okay, so you only want to use. Tarik, Dini, Tarik, the icon. Tarik for. I think you have Tarik from here. Slow. I think that only allow one minute. Okay, safe. Okay, so safe. takes time to render it because it's doing it in the server okay you can add this one click the next one next slide you can add text okay, and then you just add text some random text just write video or something 
Is there any more? Okay. <laughs> Ed, the next slide. Next one. Add the next slide. You can add an image. You can add a icon. It's an icon, so you can find an icon here. Butterfly, it's already found for you. Okay. Okay. You accompany with text. Put in some text. Right. You add. Click on the microphone and speak. Just say this is an icon. Okay. So now everything is done. You can actually package the video. Okay, you package the video, you download the video. You can download the video once you finish everything. So it will take time to render. So now once you have packaged everything together, the system will render the video. We don't have to render it in our system. It will prepare it for download. Seconds. So generally, the Adobe Spark saving a lot of time because for PowerPoint you need about few hours. This one you can do in an hour, hour or two hours. You can prepare the whole lecture. Okay, so the video is ready. So Zul, you can pull up the video. This one, this one, the the bar. Pull up. Okay, yes. So we can play. So what it will do, it will play the video from the system as it is. Okay, so you will play the video and you can go through it. Playing to learn. Okay, then you get your icon. And then this is the demo slide and so on and so forth. <coughs> so as you can see the UMS watermark will be carried in all the thing and then you will have the credits. All these things come up in the video automatically. You don't have to worry about putting in the credits and the attribution. So we will take about 15 minutes to create our own video. Can all of you develop a small video? About 15 minutes time, develop our own video for upload later. Just make one with words, just with simple word also will be sufficient. Just, uh, don't have, it's okay, it's okay. Because you can add music, okay, I can show you how to add music. Zul, can you go back to the, go back to the creator, close this. Huh? Okay. So can you see the word music here, the music, click on the music icon. Okay. You can actually add music to the video from here. You can add music and the music will play in the background, it will fade in, fade out and do everything else for you. <coughs> so you can spend about 15 minutes developing a video.